Hey everybody, we are back at the Clark Planetarium for another cool science experiment. Cynthia Chekets is joining me yet again, and Cynthia, today we're gonna make it rain, right? Yes, we yeah. are, Chris! But not raining no, dollar I mean, bills. It's, that'd it's, be great. That would be great. But <laughs> no, no, I really want to talk about those crazy rainstorms we've had not too long ago. Sure, right? totally. So tons of rain, mm. and it's taken me a long time to learn how rain works, honestly. I don't know about you, but weather stuff blows my mind. Believe it or not, I used to be a weather forecaster. That's right. And I still don't know how it works. So, well, yeah, please. Maybe teach you can me. help me out on this one then, Chris, <laughs> right? So, like, clouds are beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that clouds are made out of what? Fluff. Fluff. Yep. Straight marshmallow cream, right? Yep, totally. <laughs> no, we got some science here. Clouds are water, right? Fluffy water. Mm -hmm. And most people think that clouds are water vapor, but in fact, it's already condensing, right? It's getting uh, condensed on little dust particulates in the atmosphere. And so I want to help people see a little bit about how that works, because when you see clouds, you don't really think about little tiny droplets of water right. condensing in the atmosphere. So if you want to do this at home, you're going to need some cool water. And okay. I'm going to pour this in a glass container so we can see what's going on. All right. And you only need to fill it up uh, most of the way, but you want a gap at the top. And then I'm going to use the rest of this to be our rain okay. in this example. And it's a simplified version, but I think it's really fun to watch. And I'm a good assistant. You tell me what to do. Yes. I want you to pick out the color of our rain Ooh. and put four or five drops into our our mixture here. Red rain. So red, we want it to be able to notice in our simulation here that it is falling through the clouds. Is that and good or more? That's great. And okay. you can mix up with that little uh, turkey baster there. Alrighty. Get it all mixed together. Now the next part is I'm going to use shaving cream. Okay. Um, you can also do this at home with a uh, colander or some kind of strainer and cotton balls. And that is going to have a really similar effect. If you do it with cotton balls and a strainer, you don't need water in this jar. Okay. For the time being though, Shaving cream, shaving cream smells great, and I think it's really fluffy. And As fun. a bald man, I can tell you, shaving cream smells nice. <laughs> I'm gonna add this to our layer now, Chris. This, I need to shake it up a little more. Is this essentially our cloud? This layer? This is our cloud layer. Okay. A and as you can see, it's floating right on top of our water. Now, air is a fluid. When a, a cumulonimbus cloud is formed, right? As you mm -hmm. know. Cold air comes under, hot air goes on the top, makes this nice, beautiful cloud. Now, this is the fun part. You gotta take your turkey baster, okay. get some rain, and very slowly begin to drip it on the top of our cloud here. Okay, here we go. Now, it's gonna take a minute, but you'll see it slowly seep through, and this is kind of acting like those clouds accumulating more and more moisture as they work through the air. Don't be shy, you can put a lot on it as long as you're just a little gentle. And slowly, it'll start. Oh, I'm starting to see even like the, the layer of foam starting to move and condense. And, yes. Uh, take on all the, the red elements here. This is really cool. It's so fun. And depending how thick you made your cloud layer, it may take longer or shorter. Oh, there it goes. There goes some. So slowly as it gets heavier and heavier, that cloud has so much moisture in it that it can't hang on to it any longer. And it's going to slowly start coming out the bottom of the cloud in the form of rain. So we really are just making it rain. We are making it rain today. <sighs> I love this, especially living in a desert when I feel like clouds and rain are so exciting to me. <laughs> and we need the rain. We need the rain. <laughs> well, this is great. Where can folks get uh, more information on this or other experiments? If you go to ClarkPlanetarium.org, we have lots of virtual experiments, lots of um, events coming up, or you can come in and say hi. Our exhibits are all free. You can come see our beautiful uh, globe that we've got behind us today and learn more about the earth um, and space. <laughs> Cynthia, thank you so much. I'm, I'm definitely going to do this at, right? at home now. That's so fun. <laughs> thank you.